Hey everyone, I have a pretty exciting video to show you here today. My feed cart's got a flat tire, and rather than bring the air compressor to the barn, I thought I'd take the feed cart over to the air compressor. This feed cart is pretty handy in the barn, but it's next to useless on any on any surface that isn't cement. So I built this hard platform out of wood just so when I back it out of the barn I'm not in the ice or mud. So I gotta drive it all the way across the yard and it's a bit of a challenge. It's got a hydrostatic drive on it, but it transfers power of course to whichever wheel has the least obstruction, uh, which makes it work excellent on ice. My cat got locked in the shop last night and obviously displayed his displeasure. I don't know. I had garbage all nicely stacked in a pile here and he had to make a mess of it. All right, well, I aired the tire up and greased a couple bearings, oiled some chains, things like that. So try and do all the maintenance on this thing pre-season so then I don't have to stop and work on it in the middle of it. But when the tire goes flat, it was still working, but it's very unstable. It's kind of a tricycle gear system. And if a tire gets low, well, if it hits any uneven ground, it's extremely unstable. Uh, ask me how I know. I've flopped it on its side at least four times since I've had it. I'm lucky I've never broken my leg while doing that, but it becomes a pain when you have to unload the whole thing by hand back into the tractor bucket and then load it again. It was getting worse with the flat tire and uh, I don't have a lot going on today, so I'm just gonna run it back over to the barn now. So like I said, it's not very useful in the snow. But at least we got it back. So the weather's really nice outside today. So we're gonna take advantage of that and move some of the lambs that are in the barn outside. It's pretty much the perfect weather. It's not too warm to make it muddy. And it's not so cold that they're gonna freeze. Before we do that, I go through all the lambs in the barn and anything that's been starred to keep, we will tag them with an RFID tag. That's kind of a rudimentary way of keeping track of good replacements. So in the summer, when I come across a lamb that's already got a tag in it, I know, hey, keep that one. We'll get these lambs tagged and counted and then get everything moved out in the chaotic fashion that it usually is. So here we are, Joy's got all the lambs sorted out. At this point in lambing, the ammonia was really starting to get to me, so I'd been wearing a mask in the barn quite a bit and, uh, well, it seemed to help, but anyway. Going through a few of the lambs here, we decided there's a few that were just a little small or didn't look great, so we put them uh, back in the next group pen in the barn here and we're just trying to find the mothers to go with them. Uh, it can be a little bit difficult trying to find them. They do like to hide, but uh, if I would've just had this figured out here. And there's Joy holding a lamb, a little bit wiggly. And uh, Joy is my cousin, by the way. We're still trying to find it. Joy's waiting at the gate, like, come on, let's go. And the sheep are not helping. Oh, looks like we got one here. Okay, yep, yep. I'm gonna just pretty form the sheep wrestle here. And, uh, Joy, if you want to get the gate, that'd be good. Yep, okay, we'll just send it through. Nope, no. Nope. Sheep like to make a last ditch attempt to escape usually, so you gotta be ready for that. And I'm just looking. I think we got our lambs. Check with Joy. Yep, yeah, I think we do. Okay, yeah, that looks good. And drop, drop your glove there. You wanna just pick that up uh, before sheep eats it. There we go. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's another one we need. Uh, yep, this. Technique's really good for the knees. Um, that's why this is a young man's game here anyway. Joe's got the gate again. I'll just get those out of the way. There's the last ditch effort by the sheep, and we're good to go. Okay. Now the next move is get rid of these pesky sheep, because they're going to annoy us. So as soon as you open the door, they want to go outside. And they have no complaints about that. Joe, you just want to get out of the way there and be good. Yep. And like I said, there's always a last ditch effort. There's, there's that one. First attempt, second attempt. Nope, you're going outside. All right, good riddance. So now I'm just passing all the lambs to Joy. If I don't need to tag them, she takes them. We count them. Yeah, nice and comfortable. Flops them down. And then I find one that needs a tag. So here we go, this is a female. The number checks out. Pop an RFID in it. Pass it on to Joy again. Thank you, Joy. So we'll just speed this up here. We go through every lamb, uh, and this is a good way to make sure that they do look good, their health is good, their size is good. 
And I believe this was recorded around the time Toby Keith passed away. Looks like I was shuffling. Oh, the Taliban, baby. Okay. All right, we, like every good sheep farm, we've sealed up all of the gaps in the system with these sketchy panels that we have. Every sheep farm has sketchy panels. I don't care how successful you are. And we got all the lambs cornered up in the barn here as soon as we open this gate. As soon as we open this door, they'll come out. Everything's gonna go smoothly, like it always does. Never mind. <laughs> Come on, babies. Let's go. Come on, babies. Come on, children. Okay, shoot. Walk around the back, My grab my broom, it's leaning up by the door. Oh, okay. Thank you. Shoot. So these ewes are going to be about two weeks older. So these lambs are going to be about two weeks older than the ones we're putting in. And I'll probably spread them out within a month of age, just to keep weaning a little bit tighter. But there's lots of room in this pen yet. So now that it's empty in here, this needs some fresh bedding. And then I'm gonna move these guys into here so they got lots of room. And then, then I'm gonna open up that area up there for the ewes that haven't lambed yet and spread some of these around a bit more. If you get too many ewes that haven't lambed in the same spot, it's tougher to keep track of the lambs when they have them all together. So if I can split them up, that makes things just a little bit easier keeping track of them when they're born. for a bit so they're waiting on me to feed now I'm gonna run a load out of feed here and then we'll see hopefully things should calm down a bit this pen's pretty full now there's probably room for about 20 more I think there's about 140 ewes with lambs in here and then that keeps everything within a 30-day lambing window uh, I've got about two weeks left to do that and there's about 15 more to come out of the barn for now and they should start picking up lambing again here soon
Well, sunset now. Sheep are outside, settled in. Everything in the barn is calm. I'm gonna call it a day. Thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it.